Um, I just have a question. Like, uh, for example, uh, uh, I just wanted to know where I can draw the line between being a disobedient and disrespectful wife. Because sometimes when I'm in the kitchen or doing some work and my husband calls me, uh, my baby drops a piece of food or something like that. And I expect him to pick that up by himself. For a very small thing he calls and I'm, I'm saying I'm in the middle of the middle of some work. He says I'm being disrespectful and not uh, being obedient. For example, I'm mopping the floor or something like that. When he calls me, I say I'm in the middle of some work. He's saying he uh, I need to answer uh, uh, him at that point of time. So I tell him, uh, why don't you do small things by yourself? For example, baby dropping some food, he can pick that up by himself. And but, but then he says Allah did not say like uh, you have to only answer your husband for major things. But then even for smallest call, you have to answer. So I just wanted to know if I'm being disrespectful and disobedient. Uh, so I, I just wanted a little clarification on the Sheikh. Thank you, Sister Aisha from India. The most beautiful reference in this respect is what Allah the Almighty said in Surah Al-Baqarah. Where he said, وَلَهُنَّ مِثْلُ الَّذِي عَلَيْهِنَّ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ So, the ayah that talks about that women, men and women, have equal rights and duties. So, it's mutual between both of them. There must be mutual respect, considering the rights of others as much as I consider the rights of myself. In other words, when the Prophet ﷺ said in the hadith, if a woman offers her five daily prayers and she fasts during the month of Ramadan and then she obeys her husband and guard her chastity, it will be said to her on the Day of Judgment, enter paradise from whichever gate you desire. From whichever gate you choose. Al Jannah have eight gates. Such a noble entry. And what do you do? Offer the five daily prayers, fast during Ramadan, guard your chastity, and obey the husband. This obedience is not like an obedience of a servant to God or a servant to master. It is an obedience of doing what? Of cooperating, helping one another, assisting each other. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi said, فَإِنَّهُنَّ عَوَانٌ عِنْدَكُمْ said, إِسْتَوْصُوا بِالنِّسَاءِ خَيْرًا If the Almighty Allah Himself said, If dinner is served while it is Isha prayer, begin by eating dinner, then offer your Isha prayer. And this is a meeting with God, because first thing comes first. لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها. Allah does not ask anyone to do anything beyond their capacity. So if I'm tied up with some work and I wasn't able to pick up the phone or answer immediately, as a husband, as a friend, as a mother, as a son, as any person who's calling other, even an employer calling his employee, should give him or her the benefit of doubt. Okay. A smart wife would answer and say, Honey, I will answer you in a minute. I'm tied up with some business. My hands are wet or I'm cooking in order to defuse a problem before taking place. May the Almighty Allah bring peace, tranquility, love and affection to both of you, sisters.